world and today we got a good little vlog so if you're not subscribed already you're gonna be subscribed by the end of this video period without further ado y'all we're gonna get right into it today I'm about to go to the mall real quick because I do need to get some new forces because I've been wearing my beaters around and they're pretty pretty not white anymore and I wear them to the gym too so I'm like I literally need some new white air forces I've been needing them and I'm like on schedule today so I was like I'm gonna just go knock that out get that out of the way before I go to my makeup appointment I'm really excited to see how it all comes out I'm going for a model glam and I do have high expectations because I already know she be eating so I'm excited but yeah I've never had my makeup done before so I don't really know exactly what to expect from that but I was decided I was gonna put my lip injector lip gloss on but sometimes it irritates my skin so I couldn't open it maybe that was a sign I shouldn't be using it but then yeah after that I was gonna just go ahead and do a little study date study plan creating new goals and stuff like just journaling by myself that was my little idea but without further ado y'all I'm ready to go, I'm ready to head out, and I think I'm going to be able to get as much content as I possibly can today, because y'all, I got a new SD card, and it has 256 gigabytes, y'all, so, I, I mean, yeah, I think that's gigabytes, I have these two other ones, it's 128 gigabytes and 64, and they both ran out of storage, and I'm like, literally just trying to clear them all up right now, so I can have, like, more, <laughs> I also got an extra little battery piece so that I'm going to be able to plug that in at any time if it dies. So basically now I have three because I have one in the camera right now. So don't expect my content to ever flop again. I mean, I won't ever let it flop y'all. Like I would just start recording on my phone. I'm going to just go ahead and get myself out of this door, head over to the mall, time check. It's 9.21 y'all. So since it's 9.21, I do have enough time to head to the mall because my appointment is at 11. So early bird gets a worm. I think yeah, the mall opens at 10. But peep, peep the no nails, y'all. I have literally been on my natural nail growth journey because after I had acrylics for so long and stuff, my nails are getting brittle and I don't like how they're looking like crusty. So, I've been using, like, this little cuticle conditioning serum. And, y'all, this is just for, like, my little era because I miss my nails so bad. Like, ugh. I was contemplating getting them right before my appointment. I was like, should I get a squeeze in? But, no, I'm going to just wait a little bit, let them strengthen up, and then go back to my original nail technician i think because she eats down y'all and i haven't tried those duck nails yet and i feel like i've said that plenty of times i'm like yeah 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 but yeah i'm gonna try those out i think next time i go ahead and get my nails done i'm gonna go ahead and get my duck nail tips that i've been feeding for but unfortunately they're not gonna be extremely long because as a waitress i literally don't think that's appropriate to have extremely long nails i mean i don't think it really matters like at my job like they don't care but me personally I just feel like my tips would probably be reduced by me having extremely long nails like how I normally like them I mean different like restaurant jobs they probably wouldn't mind but I hop and when I work at specifically it's more like professional people that visit I don't know it's on the west side so I just assume most of them are doctors or something <laughs> I don't know but I just feel like it's more hygienic in my opinion but y'all I'm running low on some of my hygiene products so I was already plotting like a little hygiene shopping haul 
So I'm so excited for that video to come out soon. Not that this is low or anything. I just kind of got it. But I was just like, I'm going to do a hygiene haul, y'all. Real bad. But anyways, I don't have any makeup on right now besides lips. And I have sunscreen and face. So yeah, sunscreen and face is on, period. But yeah, enough yapping or whatever. Let's head over. I'm on my way to the mall right now because that's what I gotta go do first. I'm wearing my old Air Forces and they're so crusty. But it's such a hot, warm day. It feels so nice outside. This Cameron thing is tea, okay? But is it even? What y'all think? Okay, anyways, yeah. These are like my favorite lip glosses, y'all. This Surami. Tiramisu? Tiramisu. It's like a cake flavored lip gloss and then the NK lip oil. It's like hydrating. That one, something about it. I like when they have that other, they had like a different um, bottle before. It was the same exact lip gloss, same formula. You feel the, the same. I was going to say the difference, but there's no difference. It's the same lip gloss, but they had a different, a different bottle. And it was like, oh. Um, like, it reminded me of, like, a syringe a little bit, but, I mean, I like that one more. I feel like the application was much more neat. Because it was so unique. I don't know. This is, like, any other one. You still gotta, like, clean it up. I don't know. I like it, though. Well, it's currently 9.51, and I think I should have enough time to go ahead and go to the mall real quick still. Because I had did the calculation from the mall to the location uh, that I'm about to go to for this makeup appointment. And it's about 8 minutes away. So I'm like, I should make it. And then I also have a doctor's appointment today. I literally completely forgot about that. It's just like a general checkup. I haven't gone to the doctor's in a minute. But I think it's necessary right now. Considering that I have felt like I've been like getting a little cold. I'm like, mm -mm, time for the doctor. So yeah, because I was supposed to meet Neon's baby, and I'm so excited to, because she's so adorable, and I've been feeding it to meet her, but I was like, I'm gonna just wait until like, I'm straight 100%, so I'm gonna go to the doctors and stuff, and make sure I'm all good, but yeah, soon y'all, I was so excited, but yeah, the hair is still like giving fresh, I love it so much. I'm so excited to get my hair done again too. Like it's my addiction having a new hairstyle. Like it just really like changes my vibes. Like I really don't have to worry about doing my hair in the morning, my natural hair. I'm really not really trying to have my natural hair out so much right now. Not really the vibe right now. Cause you know like, I don't know if you know, but when I did have my natural hair, it was really like the life of the party. It was like, voluminous it was defined it was her but right now she's really short and he damaged and ugh it makes me so sad because i'm like i put so much energy into my hair and i made a very conscious decision to cut it all off so i can grow because i felt like it was like stagnant in its growth so i was like i'm gonna just do a big chop i did my big chop it was growing fast but then I was like, what's going on? Like, why are you being damaged? You know? But it was my fault. I really can't blame nobody else. I'm trying to blame this Dominican spot that I had got my hair done at. But I can't blame them because they, they straightened my hair once. And I've gone to the multiple times before my curls and voice came back. It was my fault because I just continued to straighten for a month. So, what can you do about it? It was like the front part. So, yeah. But I've been, I've been working on reviving, doing my protein treatments and stuff, y'all. So hopefully soon, but I'm really not worried on it for real. Like, I feel like there's other hairstyles I've really been wanting to do, like wigs and stuff. But y'all should definitely comment what hairstyle I would look good in because as a hair ambassador, I gotta have some unique fun hairstyles to promote. I'm thinking about wigs after this. I'm so excited because I'm wearing looking at some really cute ones and I'm like I'm really gonna go get me a cute little human hair wig so that I can get like some Cardi B looks I'm just thinking about that bang hairstyle 
with a flip to the side. That's really cute. But anyways, yeah, I have a lot of different ideas. And I'm just so excited to execute them, y'all. Like, I really like how some girls have, like, all of their hairstyles for the year planned out. Like, I've seen somebody do that. I'm like, that is going to be me soon. But right now, honestly, I'm just going to go in with the flow. Because I'm indecisive, honestly. Like, with this hairstyle, I was indecisive between this and a wig. I was going to get a wig already. But the wig that I was going to get was, like, almost $700 for, like, 16 inches. And I was like, damn, like, that ain't that cute. But I was going to get it because it was blonde. So I was thinking I could, like, dye it teal or dye it pink or purple. But teal hair eats, y'all. That's what I've been thinking. But anyways, I'm going to get a job when I get to the mall. The mall, the mall, the mall. But yeah, this is this is good. I, I really like this setup. It makes me feel more safe while I'm driving because I'm not so distracted with like trying to like fix it every like five seconds. And I would like a test to see like if it stays up. But yeah, like I said, look at my kitchen. Y'all know what I've been doing? I've been plotting, thinking and plotting, thinking and plotting. Yeah, plotting about what I'm about to do for my birthday. For my birthday, I'm turning 20 for my birthday. Not gonna tell y'all that, what the heck? But I'm in plotting, and I already kind of have an established plan. So now I just gotta get my brother to join. That's what I'm thinking. Just know it's gonna be me and my hermano. Mi hermano, pero donde va? I'm here. Ooh, y'all, I ran out of my hand sanitizer, so I found one luckily today. I was so disappointed. I was like, about to give me some hand sanitizer for my Dang, that car is loud. I don't know if y'all can hear it. I think it's a little motorcycle. I was like, is it the end of the world? I'm just kidding. But yeah, oh my gosh, my hands are dry. Ooh, this butter, bop, butter, butter drop stuff is good. So good, y'all. I have one everywhere. Mm. Fenty be eating it up with the girls. They know what to do. But I'm here right now, y'all. It's so, it's so dead. And it's just like, wow. This is probably the time I'm gonna have to come. Early bird really does get the worm. But yeah, it's only 10, 11 right now. I made it. I made a wrong turn because I was acting like I was heading to work and that is the west side, girl. You're coming to the east side today. But yeah. Finger spread. <sighs> Should I take my weapon? Or leave my weapon in the car? That's my Stanley. I'm gonna just leave it in the car. That feels pretty safe, it's pretty dead. Just kidding. I'm gonna leave it though for All right, let's go see what I find. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, the Air Forces. There we I mean, my shoes don't look so bad right now, but I think it's just like a mental thing. It's the fact that I know I'm always wearing them freaking everywhere I go. So, I want fresh ones. I'm always like weighing my pants down. But tea. Dude, these pants are my favorite right now. Damn, the booty growing, y'all. I've been drinking my protein. If you don't know, I was a fit. I've been vegetarian for about five years. Wait, I did it when I turned 16. Damn, I thought it was more, but I mean, about five years. Cause I'm about to be 20. It's gonna be almost five years. So it's like basically four years. But, anyways. Yeah, so I was vegetarian and I hadn't switched up on that, you know? But then I went deeper into like the whole dieting and stuff like that. So then I did vegan. And then I was like, okay, vegan is good. It's really hard because I like grilled cheese and stuff. So I was like over here doing like baked cheeses. And I felt really good, like really good about myself, my skin and stuff like that. But then I like fell off this year literally like it was my resolution to like fix it like it was like December I started falling off and I just started being vegetarian again but then I literally just quit so I'm like just straight vegetarian still and right now I'm thinking if I should like go down a notch and then become pescatarian and just eat like fish but I feel like I will like be mad at myself but like I'm also like in the gym trying to bulk and build this booty and grow and stuff but like it's really hard I have to drink like a lot of protein and I just have like these 
protein shakes, but I'm like, I could eat like crab meat and grow this ass. I don't know, y'all. That's what like, I'm thinking about. I haven't done it yet, but I'm thinking. I need to get a new bra. I don't even wear bras for it. What am I talking about? Uh, oh, I'm gonna go in this Foot Locker and see. Just the first one that I see, I'm gonna just check. Am I tweaking or like Foot Locker literally only has like men's shoes? So, I'm gonna go to the Lady Foot Locker, it's upstairs. But I was so awkward, I walk in there and I was like looking around and then I'm like, why are these people all over my face? Like, I'm fleeing. Anyways, I'm in my yummy home. Yo. <laughs> People be hating on Hirachis nowadays. I really like them. I still like them. This is what I used to wear in middle school. They dirty. I would probably get some for the gym. They're so cute to me still. But I don't see the Air Force this year. Period. They do have some. Oh, period. Okay. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> My legs are so skinny. I don't know. These look different. What y'all think? Nah. I don't know. Some look different about them. Am I tweaking? Or they look, they just look nicer. They obviously just look. Yeah, I like these. My shoelaces are different though. Oh, they got a different shoe. These are not regular original Air Forces. These are like blocks. Or, I forgot what they were called. But these are the original Air Forces. Mine are like different. I forgot what they were called. But I've had these for a cool minute, bro. Like, I think since high school. <laughs> I buy my brother some, but I was like, I need some too. But yeah. Dude, I like mine though. You know, I'm gonna go look at the other store. Wait, I'm gonna try it on real quick. No, I, I'm gonna go to it the seven. I'm gonna go check the other store out real quick. Yeah, I literally forgot all about that. Like mine are not like the original shoe, but I like mine more because they're like thicker. So I'm gonna go check Shoe Palace out real quick because I feel like that's where I, no, I think, I don't know bro, but I'm gonna go check Shoe Palace out because there's a high percentage that they might have something similar to them. It's right across the freaking mall. And then I still have to like lace up the shoe and stuff. Yeah, so they just said that they don't have these and they haven't had them for like a couple of years. So I'm gonna just have to go with the originals. Like they're literally discontinued. Like that's crazy. I love them so much so, but it's good because they're just gonna be like my uh, beaters. They're actually gonna be my beaters because sometimes I still be wearing them with fits. And that's my problem is like they kind of be throwing the whole fit off when I could just have gotten some new forces like a long time ago. If I didn't lock myself out of the car, out of my house, yeah, car and house, then I would have been on time. Just kidding. <laughs> Not the excuses, but I think I am on time still. I just need to go in my car and lace them up. Slay. Time check. It's 10.32. So yeah, I don't think that's appropriate. They got a whole Lululemon in here. I really wanted to see if they have this gold zipper Lululemon top. I thought it was adorable because Usually zippers are like silver, but that was so cute to me, so I had to check it out. Not today, of course. We gotta walk past it. I'm not even into Lululemon for real, but that jacket kind of sold me. I don't know, I feel like El Paso wouldn't have it anyways, because they're kind of like late to trends. But that's okay. I'm gonna just keep it pushing and then go back. I'll probably get it offline, honestly. That's a good idea. 
meeting. I just did the little switch in the bathroom because it was a nice bathroom and they had seating in there. face we're about to get slayed we're making the content but i'm very excited coop hey. i probably i made shit look too i probably made that shit look simple everybody knew that shit get hey hey Hey, I probably made that shit look simple and everybody knew that shit get high I probably deserve to be the richest I waited longer than everybody I probably told that hoe I miss her She probably sound for everybody Just cause I lied don't mean it's true Shit got a whole different meaning with you You probably lie right to my face I made you think I'm believing you I'm his brother and we po A That's probably the only safe thing to do I miss from track house for like race And ain't even know what I was speaking to Really a rapper but I went through wolves Cause I know they got dreams too We had found out the whole world seen it They had told me to leave you Went back home and I got rich And they said I needed you So I'm so sad I gave up back I seduce you with this Aston Martin I bought today Oh you damn did more drugs to me And you must be hallucinating Oh you did more perks to me And you must be hallucinating no man to solve these like these, you must have seen same. I seduce you with this Rolls Royce truck that's on the way. Chanel is on the invoice, I about to store today. That bitch getting on my nerves, man, I had to send out the central pay. Oh, you done blow up more chase to me, boy, then you gotta be a loose name. I'm a young nigga with this chick and now I fuck it up. The freshest thing I ever bought was that Bentley truck. I can turn the scribble to a deep, chin to the owner, that's Peter. Shot might be gone off the needle. Rock stuff gone like the Beatles. I took the styrofoam to the meeting. Three cell phones when the greet me. Got a bitch waiting in the lounge. I done had to move a few pounds. Looking at my chain, don't drown. Andy put the diamonds in his mouth. All bad bitch pop out. When a nigga stepping at the house. Every day we walk the red car. Every day one of my hoes falling in love. I seduce you with this Aston Martin I bought today. Oh, you didn't get more drugs than me, and you must be a loose man. This is cute. <laughs>
So y'all better get at my girl, Drippy Alyssa. Glams by Alyssa with an S, period. Mm -hmm. Link is definitely gonna be in the book description. Me, my book inside. You see how professional yeah. all the vibes were. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. All right, y'all. So, wow! Bitch. Makeup is tea. But, anyways, um, I'm leaving my doctor's appointment right now. I did make it on time. So, woo! Makeup it looks so good. And my doctor's appointment was so smooth, y'all. I had to um, meet my mom, my dad, and my brother there. I didn't know that they were going to be there, but I was just like, hey. Get out, queen. Come on, show me. Oh, uh, see, I, I just ran that over low key. Mater, be my cameraman. For me. No. Alright, so today we gonna go to Chipotle and get it. I don't know what we finna get, but we finna munch. Are you gonna get a burrito? It's National Burrito Day. April 4th is National Burrito Day. Burrito Day? Uh huh. I think, I don't know if it's national. Well, it says national. I don't know if it's just Chipotle or just in general. What if this is the day burritos were made? Probably like, is. Like, happy birthday to burritos for real. <laughs> so are you gonna get a burrito in honor of them? For real. Guys, He's look at this see. bush. He's gonna become a vlogger. Guys, I feel like I'm in California with these palm trees. Wow. Such like a different, vacant. such Wait, a different give me, vibe. Give me a fit check. So, fit check. Where'd you get the shirt from? Where's the shirt from? So the shirt is from Forever 21. You okay, know, okay, okay. Nike pants. Let's Just got that. the shoes today. Damn, fresh kicks. Fresh kicks, you know. no creases. All right. No creases. What? No, no creasers in them. No creases? All right. Let's see the jewelry first. All right, so I got- He has profanity on his jewelry. Yeah, I got that one, and I got this Death Wish ring. I got this Amazon ring. Whoa. And then I got, I got the DIY hoodie. Oh, DIY hoodie? Yeah, I did it myself. Hit him up. Got He's the, a designer. The Adidas track pants. And All right. I got the Jordan 4 Raptors on. And how much were those? Don't worry about it. Oh, don't worry about it, sweetheart. I got them from the thrift. We are thrifting advocates. Thrifting advocates. Save the world. Become a thrifter. On what? This is the one app I No, but the app I'm talking about is actually real. Like, they have to verify it. Get out of it. Show dad. <laughs> What's I get? Burrito or a bowl? Um, I feel like a bowl is something better right now. Me too, that's what I was thinking, even though it's burrito day. I'm not even hungry though, I don't think I'm gonna get anything. Really? Try to take some pictures in it so that I can get some more content in it. Maybe like for the gram before I take it off because I feel like it was so cute and I don't want to waste quite yet. Because I feel like all I got really out of it was a cute YouTube video, so I need to get like have something more. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I ended up putting my hair up and changing into this little cute top for my pictures, but. Uh, it's about time to like go ahead and do things to start winding down for bed. So the moment that we have not been waiting for. <laughs> Ugh, I'm obsessed.
too much thin layer. Um, what I like most about my makeup experience was the fact that she asked me what kind of skin do I have because that's so important when it comes to makeup. So I told her I had dried and normal skin and she did hydrate my skin so much so underneath was moisturized. Like that was a good experience. But now we're back to Miss Mathurati. I need to get some sleep for real. So yeah, I'm gonna just finish washing my sheets and stuff and do that. Alright y'all, so for this weekend vlog, I actually just had to go ahead and do my journaling and stuff another day because I was very tired. But anyways, um, yeah, I cleaned up all day and I have to go to work right now, so I'm going to just give y'all a little fit check. My hair is drying, but I'm going to show y'all it because I think it's so adorable. for the day hair and makeup um something slight because i have to go to work after all right y'all so this is my little outfit that i have on look at the glutes <laughs> isn't that a weird word new force is on yeah look at the gym progress the abs are coming in on that girl but i'm on my period today i actually just started so i'm like a little bit <sighs> bloated not bloated because I don't want y'all to like come for me and be like, girl, you don't look bloated. But I just know how my body looks. So, yeah. But like, I'm definitely getting abs. Period. But the outfit is definitely tea. Ooh, so cute. You ever look at yourself and think you look like a bitmoji just because of how like well put together you look? I don't know. I think bitmojis look well put together. Yeah. I think I'm more like a pony, not very much a stallion. I'm getting there. So, I actually just filled out my Stanley um, with some green tea instead because that's the vibes. But I put ice in there. Yeah, I have my car running already because it's hot outside. So hot. But I love how I did my eyelashes today because it really makes it look like I'm, I look like a brat doll. But y'all, um, I'm literally about to start sweating in here. No! No! Please, no! Okay, so I have my little journal. Do y'all think that the eyelashes are too much or am I tweaking? Hold on. We need to get in like some different lighting. Cause I'm like... No. It was going downwards on my feet because it was my feet be hot. But now I fixed it. I'm so silly. I do that sometimes. I, when I first got this car, I had done that once, and I was going to pick up my friends, and I was like, "Y'all, I'm so sorry. This is so embarrassing. Like, I just got this car, and the air don't work. Like, I need to go tell my dad." And we drove for like at least 10 minutes, and I'm like, "Oh!" And it was so hot. I felt so bad. It was for that tailgate. If y'all go check out my fall collective vlog, I'm sure I still have it up. Because I actually like take down a lot of my videos if I be watching it. I find it very cringy. Even though I know I have a lot of cringy videos up still. When I get monetized, I'm going to be a whole different woman. Period. But for right now, I'm going to just post, post, and post. But yeah, I'm trying to be more, more much more intentional when I post. And like post content, I'm going to like even when I get old and like 30 and be like, oh, period. You know? Cause some things I post, it's like the quality is really bad. Cause um, I was using a Mac at the time, and I don't like any of those videos I have up. But they actually did pretty good some of them, so I just have them up still because it's all gonna work out in my journey. But where's my phone at? Didn't forget it. I don't think I've ever forgot it. I don't know why I have that instinct that I'm like always oh, gonna forget it or something. But this hairstyle is so adorable. I want to take pictures in it already. Um. I was call thinking about calling in and just 
getting my um, drink made. So I could just stay in the car, run in and get it. Because I think I'm gonna just do my journaling in the car. Because this is like my sacred space. I can roll the windows now, that it's getting cool. I'm gonna go for the car wash. But I'm gonna put y'all on if y'all are listening and you can hear what I like to order. You're gonna know which drink you should order from Riley Point Cafe. I forgot some pads. I think I might have some pads in here. I'm such a gross girl. I would. Let me see. This mailbox is not currently accepting messages. Well, I guess I'm gonna just have to zoom up in there and get it. I have to be at work at four and it's three twenty-six. Like, what kind of poop is that? But luckily. I'm gonna have much more time once I quit this job. I already did, but I have to wait for my two weeks to be over. Y'all, I feel like I smell like bleach right now. I was cleaning so deeply today. I took a deep shower. Maybe it was because my shower had bad bleach in it. Well, I cleaned it out, but like, I just feel like, oh, it's my hands, maybe. I don't know. I just smell bleach, heavy. Heavy. I want to take pictures. <laughs> so I have been craving this freaking lavender latte for like a minute and I know that Starbucks keeps on sending me emails about it and I'm like y'all are probably like luring in so many people who have boycotted y'all just by this new advertisement like they know exactly what they're doing because I was tempted but I was like oh heck no craft box no Penn station and bar that's a bar no I'm gonna go to Bradley Point Cafe so it's so nice I don't know if y'all can like see the background a little bit but it's really nice in here. They have like the shack right next door, so it's basically like a restaurant, the cat box is like a bar. It's like a lot, all up in one. So yeah, I really like it up in here. Um, the coffee spot is right here around the corner. So we're gonna go up in here, order it really fast. I don't know where my little tripod is, y'all. I'm always losing something, I can't. I can't keep up with myself anymore. It's just too much for me. I'm too much for myself. I can't even handle myself. How do I study that? Just kidding. Only the strong will survive. Makeup is tea. I feel like it's just so light and delicate today. Um, I tried to change my nose piercing today, but it was hurting so bad I was crying. And then I was just like, it's too soon. I texted my best friend. I was like, can you help me? And then she was like, no, it's too soon. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> but she's right as fuck. Like she's like, that's literally raw. And I was just like, you're right. But I just, I'm not a fan of the silver so much. You know what I mean? I'm 100% a gold girly. I hope my ass isn't sweating, y'all. Because my car is hot and I got leather seats and I got leggings on. And my ass is sweating and then they just gonna go sit. You know, her ass is hot as hell. So that was so convenient and fast, y'all. Like, I was in and out. And I didn't even get no content up in there because it was my friend working at the freaking, what's it called? Um, register? Woo! Oh my god. Oh my gosh, y'all. I didn't even have no coffee today. I've been on coffee real bad. Like, at first I was a tea girl. No I'm coffee and tea. Like, I need caffeine right now. I'm in that grinding era. Like, I'm over here making business plans and stuff, girl. Probably a cup of coffee. And it's good, it's actually good to my taste buds now. Of course, I gotta add a hella making sugar, milk and sugar, and it's so much easier now that I'm vegetarian. So I don't really have to worry about oat milk and stuff too much, even though that this one is oat milk. But it's so much better with oat milk. Like, I do 100% see myself going back vegan when I am a little bit older. But right now, I'm satisfied with my current diet. Cause I'm a 
finish this vlog right here because I know I have to go to work. But I'm grateful because I got it started. Okay? Period. So, yeah. Expect me to definitely be writing in here more. More gratitude and stuff like that. But this one is more primarily for business and for certain plans that I have and trips. But your girl got it going on so look forward to a your pyramid drop y'all if you know me or if you've been around for a little bit here with my channel and stuff um you would probably be familiar with the fact that i have had a business and it was very small obviously a small business but it was fun it was a short little drop and it was just some teddy bear slippers and some glasses but that was just like a little sample of like what kind of people are gonna be interested in my business and stuff like that so I kind of got a feel for that and how it would be to actually ship out orders so it was just like a little test for me so that's kind of why I haven't really been back because I know that I don't want to be so small anymore I don't want to um, downplay myself anymore I want to go big so that's why I am taking my time and creating plans so that I can really invest in the new merchandise and items and clothing that I do plan on selling. So that's why I'm taking my time and writing this stuff out because I am gonna be able to collaborate with different people and make this plan launch. So definitely send good energy my way and I pray that everything good goes in your life and I pray that you never downplay yourself or limit yourself to thinking that you just have to work for somebody else cause you know, you might gotta do that for a little bit, do what you gotta do, save your money and invest in what's gonna genuinely make you happy. Because if you have a passion for fashion, then embrace that passion for fashion. And if you have a passion for skateboarding, if you have a passion for creating drinks, you know, you better sell them drinks, you better get you a food handler's license and sell them. So yeah, no matter how many times it's gonna take you for you to succeed, it could take you 1,000 times before you get that one millionth sale. I don't know, it's gonna take you maybe 50 times but if you only try once and you fail, you're never gonna know how many times it took you to get to that success point. So that's why I'm so grateful that I have had this job at the Beauty Supply because since I've worked there and I work over or work under this lady who literally tells me stuff like that to inspire me to not give up on my dreams and my plans, she literally tells me how many times she failed before she's been able to open up this beauty supply store that she owns all by herself and then she's passing down to her daughter as she retires. Like That's generational wealth in her family. And I'm just so grateful that I'm able to witness that and learn from her and just have such a beautiful experience and leave on good terms but I'm just grateful that I'm also able to execute my plans and actually have a business plan you know so I just need to invest in it and stuff like that but yeah I really hope that y'all enjoyed this vlog also I really hope that you liked the makeup y'all definitely need to hit up my girl Chanel and Alyssa because they both do really good looks and they're both Taurus Queens Earth Girls anyways but yeah both of their socials are gonna be linked in the description below to their Instagrams and they have booking websites they both do so definitely book with them prices are very valid it's insane because I'm just like y'all's work is top tier but yeah y'all better get it down before them prices jump up because I can already see them get into that pro level but anyways enough yapping i'm so grateful that y'all made it to the end of this video i really hope that y'all tune in for more content especially a new hair appointment video coming out sometime maybe about three weeks because this hairstyle is still rocking period but um my hair has been growing a lot y'all i've been seeing a lot of hair growth i'm so grateful for that but yeah, I'm gonna get my hair done soon, so definitely stay tuned for the hair appointment vlog because I'm so sad that the other content got deleted because that content was ready. I had the thumbnail almost ready, but yeah, the video was ready, y'all, but that's so sad. Anyways, I'm gonna catch y'all the next one, okay? Bye!